A new survey reveals 68 Americans do not know heart disease is the leading killer of women, and both men and women do not know how much control they have to prevent heart disease. Joining us this morning is Dr. Leonardo Rodriguez with Cleveland Clinic to talk a little bit more about the need for more heart health education for women. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. I like the way you say my name. I know it's a difficult way to say it. You did it perfectly. Thank you. Spanish is my first language, so <laughs> I, I hopefully <laughs> said it correctly. Um, Dr. Rodriguez. Oh, perfect. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more about what this new study has found? So we have been doing this survey for a, a few years, and they come back uh, consistently is that a lot of uh, Americans don't know that heart disease is the main killer uh, in this country. And I think other issues like uh, cancer, breast cancer, other cancer, sometimes get maybe more publicity. But it, it remains a heart disease, the, the leading cause for death in this country. And, and it's interesting to find that this is something that can be preventable for Americans. And absolutely right. I mean, I think that that's the importance of the, for your audience is to realize that for a lot of us, these diseases could be easily prevented if you change your lifestyle and correct uh, what we call risk factors. And what are some of those changes that we could do? So one is exercise regularly, and this is very important. It's not only good for your heart, but also for your brain and your joints and everything else. Uh, improve your diet, control of blood pressure, with the smoking and control of your diabetes. All these things combined will reduce greatly the risk of heart disease for you and your family. Dr. Rodriguez, why do you think that women are suffering from this the most? Well, it's uh, not the most, I think both male uh, and female, um, uh, we're all under this uh, problem. No? I think uh, what have changed in our society and the risk factors are common for both men and women. And I think what happened is obviously women are worried about other issues, for example, breast cancer, and maybe not uh, think about like uh, your, the heart as a main cause of death. But some of these things are common. I mean, if you improve your diet, your exercise, your risk of uh, cancer also diminish. So I think you have to have a holistic approach uh, to the health uh, and then improve both the heart and overall uh, other organs too. Right. And you've spoken about ways that we can prevent it. What are some uh, signs that our viewers can look out for? Maybe they don't know that they're on this path. So again, I think uh, in terms of prevention, the earlier you start, the better. Now, one that you have the problem, you, you have to be aware that the, main, the most frequent presentation of a heart attack will be sudden onset of chest pressure or tightness. The patient re refer that is in the middle of the chest. It may or may not go to your arm or your jaw. Uh, this is for both uh, uh, men and women. But all, women also uh, may have atypical symptoms such as shortness of breath, extreme fatigue, uh, uh, nausea and vomiting with sweating. And you have to be aware when this uh, occurs suddenly that you have to look for medical attention. Okay, great information there. Real quick, a, a website where we can get some more information. So we have a very good website with a lot of uh, helpful information. It's clevelandclinic.org slash love your heart. Okay, perfect. Dr. Leonardo Rodriguez with the Cleveland Clinic. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much.